John Eric Hexum was a talented actor known for his work in television during the 1980s. He gained popularity for his roles in series such as Voyagers and Cover Up. Hexum's career was tragically cut short when he died in a firearms accident on the set of Cover Up in 1984. One, can you recall the first work of his you watched? Two, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for some funny, shocking, and sad facts about his life. Keep watching this video for more. In the world of entertainment, a bright star emerged but faded too soon. He was a rising talent with a lot of potential tragically gone before his time. Winning hearts with his charm and talent, he became a beloved figure. His ability to play different roles and give captivating performances left a lasting impression on audiences. Though he didn't stay in the spotlight for long, he's still remembered by fans and aspiring actors alike. His talent was clear in every role he played, whether on the big screen or small screen. He brought characters to life effortlessly, pulling viewers into their world with his magnetic presence. Whether he was playing a smooth leading man or a troubled anti-hero, he made each character feel real and deep. Besides his acting skills, he had a charm that everyone loved, both on and off the set. His colleagues often talked about how kind and generous he was, remembering him not just for his talent, but also for his warmth and humility. After he left too soon, the entertainment industry mourned the loss of a promising talent taken from the world too early. But his memory lives on thanks to the timeless performances he left behind. He continues to inspire generations of actors who dream of following in his footsteps, making sure that he's always remembered. In 1984, a tragic incident occurred on the set of Cover Up, leading to the untimely death of an actor. His close friend, Lennon the photographer, who also worked on the show, was deeply affected by the loss. They shared a motorhome on the Fox lot, where they found comfort in each other's company. Their friendship went beyond work, with the motorhome becoming a place of laughter and bonding. Lennon, as both a photographer and technical advisor, played a significant role in capturing moments from his friend's life. These photos became precious memories after his passing. Leaving high school in 1976 marked the start of his journey, which held much promise. His death left a void in the entertainment industry and in Lennon's life. Despite the tragedy, Lennon found solace in the images he had captured, preserving the essence of his friend. The story of this rising star serves as a reminder of life's unpredictability in Hollywood. Though his acting career was cut short, the memories he left behind endure through Lennon's photographs. In a show called Cover Up, he showed his acting skills alongside Jennifer O'Neill. But something unexpected happened to Jennifer O'Neill in 1982. While at home, she accidentally shot herself with a gun she was checking. Luckily, she survived after surgery. This incident stuck in people's minds, showing how fragile life can be, even for actors. Before this, he started his acting career as Phineas Bogg in the TV series Voyagers. This was just the beginning for him. His talent was clear from the start, paving the way for a successful TV career. As he became more famous, he found love with Elizabeth Daly. Their relationship showed the ups and downs of being in the spotlight. Looking back, John Eric Hexum's life wasn't just about acting. He made a big impact on entertainment, creating memorable characters and moments that people all over the world still love. This story gives us a glimpse into his life, showing us the different sides of his personality and talents. From a young age, he showed promise on stage, starting acting in second grade. His passion for the performing arts continued to grow as he practiced in school plays and local theater productions. Following his education, he pursued a B.A. in social science from Michigan State University to learn more about the world. During these important years, he caught the eye of casting directors and producers, eventually landing his big role as Mac Harper in the hit series Cover Up. This marked the start of a promising career in entertainment, where he amazed audiences with his talent. His on-screen presence was captivating, earning him a dedicated fan base and respect from others in the industry. Sadly, tragedy struck when he was just 26 years old. An accidental self-inflicted gunshot wound ended his life, leaving his loved ones and fans devastated. His sudden death shocked the entertainment community. Coincidentally, his co-star and cover-up, Anthony Hamilton, also faced an early death. Hamilton passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia at 42, adding to the sorrow within the entertainment circle. The loss of both male leads from the popular series cast a sad shadow over their shared legacy. Although their time in the spotlight was brief, the memories they created on screen and the impact they had on others live on. Their stories remind us of how unpredictable life can be, even for those in the spotlight. 
Looking back, the intertwined stories of John Eric Hexham and Anthony Hamilton show us that life can take unexpected turns, even for those with promising careers. Their legacies, forever connected by the series that brought them together, continue to inspire and captivate audiences. Even in tough times, their stories remind us to keep moving forward. The California organ donor's card accompanied him. After his passing, at least five individuals received organ transplants, including his heart. During filming on October 12, 1984, he engaged in a dangerous jest with a revolver loaded with blanks, resulting in a fatal self-inflicted wound. Despite efforts to save him, he was declared brain dead on October 18, 1984. His devoted fans established a Star Trek-based fan club in his honor, which persists to this day under the name U.S. Sexum. The loss deeply affected his film crew, who never fully recovered. In the realm of television, a captivating story unfolded, weaving together moments of charm and tragedy. Born from familial ties in New Orleans, a prominent television anchorman's cousin stepped into the limelight. In a poignant twist of fate, his final television appearance showcased his affable personality amidst the backdrop of his residence, where he shared glimpses of his life while tending to his beloved sports car. The episode, aired a month after his untimely demise, resonated deeply with viewers, offering a bittersweet reflection on life's fragility. As he recounted anecdotes and aspirations, the charismatic figure left a lingering presence, crafting a cinematic portrait of a life cut short. Following the tragic accident, his parents faced the agonizing decision to remove him from life support, marking the end of a promising journey that had left a lasting impression on the entertainment world. The narrative of his life and its sudden, heartbreaking end serves as a reminder of life's unpredictability. In a shocking turn of events, John Eric Hexham tragically died at the age of 26 due to a devastating accident onset. While on the set of his television series Cover Up, he playfully pointed a prop gun at his temple, unaware that a blank cartridge still held enough force to cause a fatal injury. The discharge from the gun resulted in a severe head injury, leading to his untimely death. This incident brought attention to the dangers of mishandling firearms, even those loaded with blanks. Despite his promising career and youthful vigor, Hexham's life was cut short in a moment of reckless play. His passing serves as a somber reminder of the fragility of life, leaving behind a void in the entertainment industry and the hearts of those who admired his talent and potential. In the early 1980s, a rising star in the entertainment world encountered a tragic incident that abruptly ended his promising career. During a break on the set of a TV show, he playfully handled a prop gun, unaware of its dangers. Unfortunately, the gun, loaded with blanks, proved fatal at such close range. The force of the blank cartridge caused a severe injury, leading to his untimely death at a young age. This shocking accident served as a stark reminder of the risks associated with handling firearms, even in a controlled environment like a movie or TV set. It prompted a reassessment of safety measures within the industry, with stricter regulations put in place to prevent similar tragedies. The loss of this young talent left a profound impact on the entertainment world, prompting a collective effort to prioritize the safety and well-being of actors on set. The incident highlighted the need for heightened awareness and adherence to safety protocols to prevent such devastating accidents from occurring in the future.